Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. I pray for you all. God give you a long life and you will live always happily there. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my YouTube channel. I have a request to you all. Watch this video till end for supporting me. So let's start our information. These are some updates on the art. Before starting the video, I have to tell you something. Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar Opinions, and Dinar Guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. Please pay attention. They're bringing value to their currency, it's really coming together quite quickly. I pray that this dream will come true for the both of us. It is very close. There's no doubt about it. All the indications are pointing that it's very close. I just hope we get some good news when Alok returns from New York. I have been told a three-day weekend is easier to execute. In an ideal world they would flip the rates on a Saturday night or Sunday morning and this would give them more time to prepare banking. It would just be easier to do it on a three-day weekend for the biggest economies in the world. At least that is how it was described to me. The anticipation for this weekend is at a feverish pitch right now. We will see what happens. We should know by midday on Sunday. Have you ever wondered why some currencies rise and fall in value? Or what it takes for a currency like the Iraqi R to ever increase in worth? Here's a surprising fact, currency exchange rates are not just numbers, they reflect a country's economic health. Understanding this can give us a clearer picture of what it for the dinar future. Today, we're diving deep into the between Iraq's economy and the value of its currency. Why is this topic so important? Because it impacts everyone, from everyday citizens to international investors. Let's unpack how the success of Iraq's economy can pave the way for a stronger dinar and explore why there are no shortcuts to getting there. First, let's talk about what we mean by the dinar's value. The exchange rate is simply how much of one currency you need to spend to buy another. For the Iraqi dinar, this has fluctuated quite a bit over the years. Factors like global oil prices, political stability, and economic policy all play vital roles. Oil is a huge piece of Iraq's economy. Iraq sits on some of the largest oil reserves in the world. When oil prices rise, that can boost Iraq's economy, leading to a stronger dinar. But it's not just about oil. Iraq needs to diversify its economy. Imagine a country that relies heavily on a single resource. If that resource loses value, the whole economy can take a hit. Countries like Saudi Arabia are experiencing this right now. Next, we have to think about political factors. A stable government is crucial for economic growth. When people feel secure, they invest more in businesses and buy more goods. But years of conflict in Iraq have made this stability hard to achieve. We have seen challenges with corruption and inefficient governance too. These issues can drive foreign investors away. And when foreign investments drop, the economy struggles. Let's talk about infrastructure. For Iraq to grow, it must improve roads, schools, and healthcare. Good infrastructure means better business environments, attracting investors. And a thriving business climate supports job creation, which in turn boosts consumer spending. This cycle of business investment and consumer spending helps lift the economy. Now, what does this mean for everyday Iraqis? When the economy flourishes, people can find decent jobs. Families can provide better lives for their children. This stability can create a demand for the dinar, pushing its value up. But gains won't happen overnight. 
developing an economy takes time, planning, and hard work. It requires consistent policies aimed at promoting growth. Think about successful countries like Germany or South Korea. They didn't get where they are without facing challenges and working through them. Iraq can learn from their experiences. Now let's consider how everyday actions can support this economic growth. Supporting local businesses, for instance, helps keep money in the community. When people buy local, businesses thrive, leading to more jobs. Also, government policies should encourage entrepreneurship and innovation. A vibrant small business sector can greatly influence the economy. Efforts to combat corruption are also vital. Transparency helps build trust between the government and the people. When trust is established, people are more likely to spend and invest. Let's discuss the role of technology. Investing in technology can help modernize industries in Iraq. With a stronger emphasis on tech, Iraq can compete globally. Consider the rise of startups across the globe. Iraq has the potential to tap into this market, which can add value to the economy. Lastly, let's explore the importance of education and workforce training. An educated workforce is more productive. Companies look for skilled workers to fill positions. Education leads to better job opportunities and increased income, creating a happier populace. This improved standard of living can lead to a greater demand for the dinar. As we wrap up, let's remember one key takeaway. The value of the dinar is tied closely to Iraq's economic growth and success. No magic solution exists to make this happen overnight. It requires dedication, hard work, and strategic planning. If you found this information helpful, please hit the like button. Also, share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think are the biggest challenges and opportunities for Iraq's economy? Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and let's continue this important conversation. Together, we can learn more about economics and how it shapes our world.